Hello and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at two very interesting tools. The first one, Save Damper, will allow us to dump our saves and then inject them back into our cartridges. And the second one, which is Wood Damper, will allow us to dump our ROMs from cartridges. Uh, we're going to proceed to download both of them. The first one, Save Damper, only shows two versions on the Git of the GBA10 website. But if we take a look at the GitHub page, we can see that we have 1.3 FI level for download. So let's do that. And here in the wood dumper, as you can see, this is for 3DS, but we have a version adapted for DSi, which we're going to download now. And that's it for the downloads. Now we will proceed to making it work on our DSi. The first thing we need to do is just move S save dumper to the root of our SD card or whatever, really, but. I'm just going to put it on the root for ease of use. And then we can have two options for wood dumper. The first one is to just move this file, the 00030004, into title. And we just move it in here. And it works now, it just works. But we also have the option to try and make it work as an NDS file. What we need to do for this is open the 003004 folder, then content, and take out 0000.app. We move it out, and it's as simple as replacing the .app with NDS. So we do that. Ignore this, it won't happen. And we can also move it to the root of our SD card. And now all that is left to do here is try them out on our DS, so let's do that. Okay, so now that we are on our DS, we're gonna just run save dumper. And it will pop up the following screen, all black and white. Uh, I currently have inserted Pokemon Heart Gold, the Spanish version. But it doesn't really matter which game you have in, it supports almost all of them. Including the ones with infrared on the cartridge. So, we have two options, to press A to dump and B to restore or save to it. We're gonna press A in order to dump it. And we have two options, we can just press A and it will save as the name of the, of the game, as you can see here. Or, we can press X and it will display a keyboard in which we can select the name we want. I'm gonna name it Heard Goal so Silver one And hit return and it's creating the save file which will be saved in the saves folder in the root of our SD card and now I'm going to restore the save I just stayed so we press B and we can we get the option to automatically load uh, a file named the same name as the game ID or we can load manually any any save we want in our case so this is, we don't have any save file name IPKS, we have to manually load it. So we select our file, which is this one, and it prompts us that it needs to clear the previous save file there is on the cartridge, which we press A. So it deletes it. There it's deleted. And then we have to press A again in order to load the the new save file we want to load on the cartridge. So we press A. And it now takes a while. Alright, so it just finished. Uh, it took around a minute, minute and a half for me. So don't be too stressed if it takes a lot of time. So we just press A and it's done. And we're gonna pop in the game just to show you that it didn't do anything wrong to the save. I open the game. It's the Spanish version of Herald Goal, as I already said. Let's wait for it to load. There we have the initial screen. And as we can see, our save is here. We open it, and everything is normal. All our Pokemon are okay. You're just fine. So yeah, that's the uh, the save dumper. It's pretty useful. 
and I'll show you later how to extract the the save files from the SD card, which is pretty simple. As I said, it's on the saved folder on the root of your SD card. And no, right now we're going to check out the um, the wood damper, the ROM damper, which we have right here, and it's very simple to use. It takes kind of a long time, but it's really really simple to use. So we have a target card. We just press OK, it reads the header, and it starts dumping. As I said, it takes a while, but it works perfectly, so we just let it do its job, and we'll check back on it later. So, there we have it. It took around 5 or 6 minutes, so it is a really long process. And we can just hot swap the card, so I could take down the one I have right now and plug another one in, and we can dump that one too. So it's a really fast process, but we don't want to do that right now because it would be another five to ten minutes, and there is no need to do that. So I'm not going to show you how that file we just dumped which is right here it saves it to the root of the SD card it works perfectly so it's taking a little bit creates the save file and now when the S bootstrap is doing its work to load the game so it'll take a little bit and there it is our dumped Heard Go Soul Silver ROM well Heard Go specifically it doesn't have any save file yet because of course we didn't use the dump save file on it but yeah it works perfectly now I'm going to show you how to move these these files we dumped back into your PC and show you how they work on any emulator too which is probably the reason you wanted to see this video so let's head back onto the computer so here we are on the computer now uh, on the root of the SD card we find the dump drum, we're just gonna move it to the desktop. And we also find the saved folder, which contains our Herco Soul Silver 1 save file that I made earlier. And let's copy that to the desktop too, and now we're going to check how the ROM works, which is perfectly. And we can also import a backup memory from the desktop, which is this one, all automatic and it will load on our emulator right. there we have it, the same save file as we saw on the PS so yeah, it works perfectly and that's it for the video, remember it's two files the save dumper and the wood dumper and that's all I hope you found it useful